Okay, now that I put a uh, 3x long hook into the vise, I'm going to take a 3 uh, mono cord, but I'm going to start it towards the middle of the hook and work my way towards the bend because the uh, head, which is spun deer hair, will be put at the um, shank of the hook and I would like to take advantage of a bare hook so that I could spin the deer hair properly and make it easy for me. So I'm going to bring the thread to the bend, then I'm going to bring it towards the middle and then I'm going to attach uh, the tail. I've already stacked uh, some red bucktail for the tail. And the tail will only extend past the uh, bend of the hook about a gap width from here to here gap here to here gap and I'm just going to secure this right on top of the hook shank pull that back up so and then run my thread to the bend of the hook to secure the tail so there is the tail of the the, the hopper, and I'll cut the excess off. Now I'm going to take a brown hackle, and I'm going to tie it right at the bend of the hook, locking the stem of the hackle to the shank of the hook, and I'll have it right at the bend, and I will cut the stem off. Now I'll bring the thread to the about the two-thirds mark of the shank of the hook. I will now tie in some yellow yarn. I take one ply of yellow yarn and I'll secure this on top of the shank of the hook. This is going to be the body. But right at the bend, I'm going to just put a little loop right at the bend of the hook. Secure that into place. Just be careful, you know, um, I have a video camera in between me, but I'm just going to secure that in place. I'm going to bring the thread to the about two-thirds mark, and then I'm going to start to build the body and with yarn I don't want it to fray I'm just going to uh, twist it and wrap it twist and wrap as I build the body up one wrap after another right next to each other tie a little bit on top of each other just to give some sort of a body twist and wrap building the body almost like a cigar shape so I'm going to get thicker towards the middle and then I'm going to get thinner as I get closer to where I left my thread off. Now the yarn you would think uh, would would uh, help would absorb more water but this is a poly a poly yarn and so it'll float a little bit plus the deer hair head is going to be like a cork anyway and uh, it'll help float. So there's the body, and I'll tie that right off. And then put a couple extra wraps to help make sure that's secure into place. Now, now I'll take my hackle pliers, and I'm going to wrap Palmer rib the hackle through the body even spaces nice even even spaces right through the body this will help help it float also give movement
Next step, we trim the hackle. We trim it nice and even to the body. And don't cut the thread, but even with the hook point, like so. Now we'll take some uh, turkey tail that has been treated with a uh, clear lacquer. We want to have it thicker than the body. This is the overwing. Just pinch it over, cup it over, like so. And then secure that right into place, right on top of the, the body. So you can see it, it looks like that. Then we'll take our scissors and trim it so it looks like it has a little tri uh, triangle point at the back end. Next we'll tie in some uh, legs. Uh, this is an optional uh, pro process but uh, step. What I do is I take a couple of uh, pheasant tail fibers and knot them myself to make the legs. So I'm going to cut two off, one for each side. So here is side one. Just going to put it on the far side. And catch the thread and catch the thread and the butts. So there's leg one. Then I'm going to take the near side Secure that one right into place. And we want them to be like outriggers on, on the fly. So here we go, right there. I like to take uh, a little cement or UV uh, bone dry, lock all that into place. So now I uh, stacked some deer hair for the collar so that the tips will be uh, the same length. And what we will try to do is we don't want the tips to go extend way too past the bend of the hook. So we line it up, we'll take one, two, and then on the third pass, we'll let go and pull. And that'll give a collar. If you have a uh, if your collar is more on the bottom than the top, I would, uh, I'll, I'll add more uh, deer and make the uh, collar tips on the top a little fuller, and I'll show you that. So, I just stacked uh, some deer here. I'm gonna line it up so that the tips are all at the same length, hold it in place where I wanna secure it, and just pull. And there, I'll have a nice round collar. What I'll do next is take uh, some wire, whether it be copper or lead, and I will wrap it around the collar so that when, I, when it comes to trimming, I don't uh, trim off the collar that I just uh, created. So I'll put a, just wrap that up, secure it, and lock it into place. And then I will reach in Pack, pack the hair and put my thread in front. So now I'm going. I have taken a bunch of deer hair. I've cut the tips off and I've taken the under fur off. I'm going to just lay them on top of the bear shank hook. I'm going to take my thread, one, two, and on the third one I'm going to pull and and follow it until it stops turning. Then I'm going to take my thumb and index finger and push it to pack it in, take it all, pull them backwards, and put a couple of wraps in front. Okay, now we got to put uh, more deer hair uh, to build this head, and as you see, we have just enough to be able to put another stack in. So we'll hold it right above, one, two, start to pull, 
and there we go thumb and index finger stack it pack it in real tight let's see if we have any how much room, more room we have and that should do it what we'll do is uh, put a couple of wraps in front then we'll take our either a half inch tool one two wraps of that and put it right over the eye and pull it over or you could use a whip finisher and just a couple of wraps there pull and cut well the that part is done now what we need to do is trim it to uh, make it look like some sort of a hopper head so now it comes time for the trimming and now you see why I put the wire to wrap the uh, collar down so that I wouldn't be afraid to cut and honestly I love to tie these flies at uh, places that I do demos and also if when friends have uh, a little bit of a tying get-together I'll come right home over and start trimming so first time I want to just trim right at the top it's almost like a triangle but on the bottom I cut that as close as possible get that nice and flat and I'll come over here and trim that out then follow a couple of these long ones here trim them as close as possible to the collar I almost have to be like a barber getting this nice and trim it's, it's a little harder to do on the vise I usually just take them out, trim them, and let all the uh, material fall into my uh, waste basket. So here, just trying to finish this up. Any of the longer ones that are the way. as possible but also leave it a little wider towards the hook of the eye almost like a popper these grasshoppers have big heads any of the stray hairs that are in the way trim You can do this with a razor blade if you are confident in doing that. But there we go. That's and you get the idea for the head. Then what I'll do is I will take the wire off, save it for my next hopper, and then take my hook points and just Take any of the hair that is matted down and just fluff them out. Take some from the bottom. Take that out of there. Because I want this really to be flat on the water. Now you want to cut your legs. Everything is there. And just swim it up. And that is the completed hopper. And you can take this out of the vise and do more trimming with it as you would like.